Welcome to Story Matrix, another day, another story. Hey everyone. The Matrix is spreading, and people are plugging in every second from around the world. We asked people what they wanted to see, and to our surprise, most of you want to see the dark side of the Matrix. The Matrix has a really dark side and today you will get exactly what you asked for. A tiny peek into the dark side of the Matrix. And this is just part one. We are going to feature true stories told by real people on the internet which will mess up your mind. Beware, now is the chance to turn away. Pleasure by gouging your eyes. I had a client who was mentally challenged. She used to stimulate her optic nerve manually by pushing her fingers forcefully into her eye socket and touching the white of her eyes. The medical doctor that helped with the situation said the action causes an endorphin rush which basically stimulated the pleasure she would get from having sex. Luckily through some pretty dedicated behavioral therapy, she no longer does it. Pretty messed up when it was happening though. Addiction to kill your love? One of my professors told the story of a former client who was severely depressed but had no suicidal ideation. His brother and father both committed suicide and he refused to do that to his family. However, he constantly imagined killing his wife. They had a happy marriage, never fought, etc. She was so compassionate and comforting, knowing his mental state. But he couldn't stop thinking about killing her. My professor made him talk through the act of killing her, by closing his eyes and describing every detail and he said the guy just broke down and sobbed uncontrollably. He felt so horrible and he knew it was so wrong and truly didn't want to hurt her, but he couldn't stop his thoughts. He was diagnosed, along with three or four other disorders, with OCD because he was obsessed with the thought of killing his wife. This story sticks with me since I always thought of OCD as people who are obsessed with certain actions, etc. Not thoughts or ideas. Parents do the unthinkable. Were they right or wrong? My mom used to be an advocate for children with mental disabilities. She had been assigned a new family that month, and they seemed pretty normal. Both parents checked out, and the kid was about 10 years old. He had a moderate case of autism and schizophrenia. The family also had a dog for the kid to play with. When the dog died, the parents decided to let the kid keep playing with it. No, they didn't stuff it. The kid played with the dead dog for a couple of weeks before my mom realized what was going on. The kid would even sleep with the dog at night. My mom called child protective services on them and they took the child away from the parents. I don't remember what happened after. Once, you're in a gang, it's till death do us part. One of these actually made me say what the fuck. So, a girl who was in a gang wanted for a couple of years decided she wanted to get out and be clean. This obviously did not go well with them and they threatened her what would happen if she chose to leave. Her brother who was a straight and narrow guy decided to get involved to help his sister. Eventually, they showed up at her house and kidnapped her and her brother. They ended up raping her in front of the brother with a hot hair iron and making him watch the whole thing. Then, they killed the brother and hung him on the coat hanger, and left her there. The messed up part is, she rejoined the gang. The boy who lost his way. I worked in a group home for boys once. The staff recommended I hold off reading their files for a few weeks so I could get to know them first. When I did read one boy's file, I regretted it right away. He had been given up at birth because his mom was an alcoholic and drug addict, and as a result, he had limited mental capacity. Passed around a few foster homes until he settled at one around five years old, but the husband was sexually abusing him. CPS let him stay with the wife after she kicked the husband out. Later something unthinkable happened. She found the boy having sex with the dog, so she called CPS and he was sent to the group home. Cute boy, 8 years old when I met him but with the intellectual capacity of a 3 year old. Wish I could have helped him more. 
Are people who wanted to see the dark side still here? Well, before we get to the last story of this part one of the dark side of the matrix. Please let us know your thoughts so far or any sick story you have to share with the matrix in the comments down below. Jealously will kill you, literally. I spent five months in a treatment center where we had to share our stories. The worst I heard, and really they were all the worst. I'll share the one that was really the worst in my opinion. I'm not using many details to protect her privacy. But here goes. A young girl is living with her mother and father, her only recollection of her father is that he was super nice to her, but mean to her mom. One day, after her dad was particularly mean to her mom, they packed all of their stuff and left her childhood home to live with her mother's sister. This next detail was first brought up years after the end of the story. Her mother would stay up late at night worried for her life and the life of her children. She sat down with her sister at some point and said, He's going to kill me. I know he will. I want you to take care of my kids when he does. Imagine hearing that all those years later, knowing your mother knew she would die and didn't do anything to stop it. This girl had a brother and a sister, and one day on the way to her little brother's baseball practice a large truck started following them. Her father was driving. He began to rear end the car attempting to run them off the road. This was on a residential street. Eventually, the car was rammed into a tree. Her mother told the oldest daughter, the person I was in treatment with, to grab her cell phone and call 911. But she couldn't find the phone. So they got out of the car. At this point, her father climbed out of his car and drew his gun. He shot and killed her mother and brother and then aimed the gun at her. He shot her in the shoulder, and before she lost consciousness she told her younger sister to play dead. The whole family was rushed to the hospital, and the two girls were the only survivors. After he was arrested, he didn't kill himself and he wasn't shot by police, they found a note in his car. It said something along the lines of I love them so much. If I can't have them, nobody can. He is now awaiting the death penalty and she testifies every time he files for an appeal. Thanks for watching. Please like share and subscribe.